Ryan Waters. He's buying contracts for us. Um, a contract is a promise or a set of promises that the law in some way recognizes as a duty, and when it's breached, the law provides a remedy. my book at dad's. Richard. I'll do it in school. Eat, Mom. Did you finish your poem, Ben? Yeah. Thanks to me. You get yourselves ready. We're gonna leave in a minute. If there was peace in the world by Ben Currenzi. Here, here. Come over here. Read it over here. If there was peace in the world by Ben Currenzi, children would no longer have bad dreams of guns, bombs, and deadly screams. Deathly. I wrote that line. You did not. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. All right, read me the rest. It's 10 o'clock, you're late. I'm gonna have to marry you. Here we go. Hey, I know you. Hi. She's, she's the other old lady in my class. Spill thirsty. A bush milk, please. You her boss? Well, technically. But she's the one who is a little boss. Yeah. Tell me about your paper. I'm Abba Rice. Oh, yeah. Well. Okay, now you're starting to hurt my feelings. What? We're gonna be friends. Because we're the only ones in class who've been through puberty. Oh, I'm just I'm really busy. Okay, I'll start. So I got these lefty parents. And they're always telling me I should put my big mouth to good use and try to change the system. So, you know, I ignored them, of course. And after partying for a few too many years, you know, I, I finally figured out what I wanted to be when I grew up. And it turned out my parents were right, goddammit! So here I am. What about you? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude. I just don't really have time for a friend right now. Oh, yeah, you do. I mean, I'm all you got. I don't want anyone in school to know what I'm doing here. Oh. Well, I mean, I do have a big mouth, but I know how to keep a secret. My uh, brother Kenny, he got screwed by the system. He's been in prison for 12 years, life without parole. Wow. Well, he's innocent. Yeah, I'm gonna find a way to get him out. Okay. He's innocent of what?
Mr. Waters? Hey. Finally, someone looks good in a uniform. I'm Officer Nancy Taylor. I need you to come with me. I'd, I'd love to, but I'm already spoken for. Where'd you get those scratches? Uh, look around you, sweetheart. See the branches? Sir, I need you to step into the patrol car. Uh, well, my grandpa needs this tree out of here. Now, Mr. Waters, put down the chainsaw. I tell you what, Buttercup, why don't you go give out some parking tickets and then come back when I'm done? How's that? Put down the chainsaw now. Get the fuck off my grandpa's property. You're trespassing. Drop the weapon. You're shitting me, right? I said drop your weapon. Take it easy there, Angie Dickinson. It's OK. Put it down. Put it down. Every time something happens in this godforsaken town, you have to pick him up? You know the drill, Betty Ann. He's got a record. We gotta no, bring him that in. That just sucks. I mean, he would never hurt Mrs. Brow. <laughs> hey! Hey, Tommy! Well, so far, I got my clothes up. He has been wanting to get me alone naked for years. You know, to make an honest man of me now, you know that. Let's go. So, what's going on? I'm picking you up. You're picking me up? Oh, I love you. Look at my sis. Isn't she beautiful? No. Here she is to save the day. He's got a cape on. Listen, no hard feelings, OK? But may I say that you're one of my absolute favorite arrests. What, do you think this is a joke? She was stabbed 30 times, and I had bashed into her brains flew out. You think that's funny? No, I don't think it's funny. Listen, now, don't leave town for a while, all right? Might have some more questions for you. It was my trip to Aruba. Okay. So long, gentlemen. And, uh, lady. You all right? Are you all right, Corey? No, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to talk to us. But well, they ain't my fucking kids. Short sure, listen to me. How'd you get so filthy? Elizabeth, you treat them like trash. They're gonna go up to be trash. You go to hell. I work day and night for these kids. Everything I do is for them. Get upstairs and take a bath. And you're going to school tomorrow, you hear me? Hey, where the hell are you going? I don't have to answer to you. The fuck you don't? Elizabeth, get back here. They're your kids. Who's supposed to look after them? He got down on his knee in the middle of the freaking restaurant. It was just, it was so sweet. Yeah, it was totally, um, we say, um, uh, conventional. You're talking about marriage? Traditional. Yes, no. Traditional is what I meant. Thank you. Brenda, or any ideas? I love you, babe. I love you. Mandy, you want to dance? Congratulations. Congratulations.
with that. I will. Can kill you. I'll take your Kenny, fucking eye out. You understand me, motherfucker? Kenny, Kenny, get off. You understand Kenny, me? Kenny, 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 Come on. He's okay. He's all, right. no, he's all right. He's all right. We're clear, We're clear right? We're clear, right? Right. Mano y mano, huh? Come on. Hey, we're cool. We're cool. He's all right. Get some wild turkey. Wild turkey for my buddy here. You okay, man? Get some ice for my buddy here. Sit down. That was so okay. He's fine. No. You were really having fun, and you had to go through that. Who's your buddy? Who's your pal? Come on, now it's a party. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Stan. Give your baby a pity. Benjamin Davenport, beloved father, grandfather, and great-grandfather, was a hard-working man who always put his family first. Devoted to his wife, Eliza, until the day she died, his daughter, Elizabeth, and all his grandchildren. When times were roughest, Benjamin made sure there was food on the table. Can I help you, officer? Excuse me, father. Kenneth Waters, you're under arrest. What? I we need you to come with us. I can't wait. My so grandma's so so Now, Mr. Waters. Please, can I just wait till after the funeral? All right, okay. Just take care of me. Okay. 
Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Please. Get this white. What's this for? Just, just until after the funeral. Come on, guys. Break over here. Hey, what is this for? A goddamn parking ticket? What the fuck? Kenneth Waters, you're under arrest for the murder of Katarina Brown. Are you out of your fucking mind? You let me off two years ago. We got you now. Look, these lawyers want 25,000 up front. 25 grand? I had 25 grand, I'd buy a fucking yacht. This is a joke. I got nothing on me. They arrested you for murder. They must think they have something. Uh, please, have fucking with me. Help them to Fenner will be fine. Hey, come on. You got any wrinkles? Cops are drawn to me like bees to honey. You know that. I have a gift. Yeah, some gift. A scratch on his face. On the morning of February 21st, 1980, he came home with a scratch on his face? Yes. Right here. All right, for the record, you're showing them just below the eye to just below your lip? Right. Did you have an argument with Mr. Waters in July 1980, five months after the murder? Yeah, he tried throwing me out a second floor window. And at some point during the argument, did he say something to you? I asked him if he killed that woman. And he said, yeah, what's it to you? Ms. Marsh, can you please tell the jury, why did you wait more than two years to tell the police that Kenny said he had killed Mrs. Brow? I was afraid of him. Thought he'd kill me too. Why is she doing that? I show you, Ms. Marsh, what is marked as exhibit number 64. And I would ask if you could identify that. It's the same knife Kenny carried. And when Kenneth Waters was brought in as a suspect, did he have an alibi for the period between midnight and 9 a.m. on February 21st? Claimed he was working as a cook at the Five Diners. And what did you discover when you checked out his alibi? We confirmed that he was at work until 5 a.m. But beyond that, there were no witnesses who saw when he left. His time cards were never found. The head and chest was struck with a ceramic lamp and a metal toaster. And there were 30 stab wounds, six to the head and neck, three to the back, one to the abdomen, and 14 to the chest. Five of them penetrated to the heart. And one time it went through the front and almost came out the back. There was an enormous amount of blood, mostly from the victim, but some from the perpetrator. And what, if anything, did you determine with respect to the blood of Katerina Brow? Katerina Brow would be identified as blood group B. And with respect to exhibit 68A through F, did you examine those items from the murder scene and determine the blood group present on each? Yes. The blood on each of those items was from blood group O. And did you have occasion to test a sample from the defendant, Kenneth Waters? Yes. His sample was from blood group O. And what was your relationship with Mr. Waters after you met the summer of 1980? Mm. I guess you could say we were lovers for a while, uh, about six months. And on those occasions when you did some drinking with Mr. Waters, do you recall anything he said to you? He told me that he got picked up for a murder in the air and that they couldn't pin it on him, and he laughed about it. And sometime after the summer of 1980, did you have another conversation with Mr. Waters about this murder? Yes. Um, he told me he stabbed her, and he took her, her money and jewelry. Did he tell you anything else? He called her an old German bitch, a fucking old German bitch. 
After Kenneth Waters supposedly told you I killed her, did you terminate seeing him? No. So you believed him to be a murderer, but you continued to be romantically involved? Yeah. Until he bashed my teeth in. You have nine children by seven different fathers, is that correct? Objection. Sustained. Didn't the state in fact declare you an unfit mother and take your children away from you? Objection irrelevant. Sustained. Watch yourself, Miss Fahey. Wasn't Kenny sent to training school for breaking into K. Brow's home? No. And didn't that, your well, son regularly break into houses in the neighborhood? I, I never condone that type of behavior Just for my Just answer the question, please. Yes. I hope our place is as nice. I'm not gonna live in no trailer. I'm gonna have a mansion with a hundred rooms. <laughs> and ten refrigerators filled with candy. And your own private lake. Like Betty Ann and Kenny. Like Kenny and Betty Ann. I said it first. Well, I'm older. Ah! No! Ah! Stop it! It's really Kenny! It's really! Calm down, Mrs. Brow. We'll take care of it. Lee, round back. Open up in there, police! Where do you think you're going? Go, 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 go! God damn it! What did I tell you kids about trespassing? Kenny, get over here. Stand right there. Betty Ann, come on. Oh. Come here, Betty Ann. There! Get over here! Come here, Kenny. Your mother's a dirty hog. Come here. You don't touch my sex, but don't you touch my sex. Don't touch it. Dig him to the ground. Get down. Get down. Kenny. Go, run. Run, Betty Ann. Run. We were just kids. We'd play in people's houses and pretend we had a normal life. I don't know what you're talking about. You had a perfectly normal life. Yeah. Eight foster homes, perfectly normal. And the only reason they took you away from me is because I worked too much. I had no life except for you kids. We know, Mother. You're practically a nun. But Kenny, you could be like a wild animal. I'm not saying he's born bad, but he had that temper. No, I was always afraid he might kill somebody. Ah! Don't you ever say that to me or anyone else. Don't you even think it. You understand me? I mean, what kind of mother would say something like that? Okay, Kenny, come with me. Where are you taking him? You are going to come with me, honey. No, no, no. no. Come on, Stella, no. now. No. Kenny! No. 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 Let him go. No. Let him go. No. Let him go. No. Indictment 82-4115. This indictment charging Kenneth Waters with murder. What say you, Madam Foreman? Is the defendant guilty or not guilty? We find the defendant guilty, Your Honor. Guilty of what? Murder in the first degree. 82-4116.
This indictment charging Kenneth Waters with armed robbery. What say you, Madam Foreman? Is the defendant guilty or not guilty? We find the defendant guilty. We'll appeal it, Kenny. We'll get you out. We'll get you out, Kenny! You hear me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to go see him. Can I go see him? You can. Sunday for the past three years. Something's happened. Oh, shit. Well, son of a bitch. Just find my brother. Damn it. Where is he? Something's wrong. I know it. We, we should have heard from Kenny by now. You gotta make peace with this. Make peace? We got a family here. This is us now. Babe, Kenny's in prison for the rest of his life. Accept it. I will never accept it. Hello? It's Harvey Peters. Finally. I haven't heard from Kenny since we lost the appeal. Everything's okay now. You got nothing to worry about. What do you mean? What happened? Your brother's in isolation, so no call. Why is he in isolation? He tried to kill himself. What? How could you do this? Like this? You'd be better off. God damn it, Kenny. Promise me you'll never do this again. There's nothing left. It's all over. You're still the Supreme Court. Supreme Court? Supreme Court ain't gonna fucking hear this case. I'm fucked. I was fucked right from the start. You can't give up. We'll find somebody else. I'll, I'll take out a loan. We'll get a top lawyer this time. Hey, when are you gonna get a bit of hand? There was no one else. There's no lawyer on earth to give a fuck about me. There has to be. You're innocent. Are you sure about that? Whether I kill Mrs. Brow or not, I'm a piece of shit. I mean, I'm no good to anybody. What about your daughter? What daughter? She's being poisoned against me. I'm never gonna see her again. That is not true. I gotta go. I'm doing Mandy a favor. She's the only good thing I ever did in my piece of shit life, and I got nothing I give her. Please, Kenny, wait. You promise me. You'll never hurt yourself again. You promise me. I can't spend the rest of my life in here. Anyway.
What's this? I thought maybe I could get a degree finally. Why? I just thought maybe. I don't know. Maybe I could eventually apply to law school. You're not doing this. You're not doing this. Well, I could go part time. I could still. Enough! This is what I'm gonna do. You hear me? Don't laugh, all right? I'm gonna start by trying to get a BA. After I finally take the stupid GED test, and after that, if I if I even get that far, and there's no guarantee I'll even get in. I'll apply to law school. But this can take a long time, Kenny. A really long time. And I mean, I might be. 80 years old before I finally become a lawyer. And even then, I, I still don't know if I'm gonna find the answers. But you just have to promise me. You just have to. That you won't ever try to kill yourself ever again. Because if you do, May it please the court, my name is Betty Ann Waters, and the issue today is whether my client, the issue is whether Miss Cooper, no, the, the issue is whether, shit. Start again, Miss Waters, and breathe. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. What are you doing, Ben? Okay. You got him, didn't you? Oh, shit. Did you forget? I forgot the fishing trip. No. No, of, of course not. I just... I just didn't remember it was this weekend. Guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. I can't go. I have to argue a brief in front of real judges and lawyers. I promised. I know, honey. We'll go another weekend, okay? When? When Uncle Kenny gets out of jail? Richard. Honey, I'm sorry. I know. I found this book in the library. It says that women hardly ever shoot themselves when they commit suicide. So Romeo Clyde's screaming Mrs. Brown, right? His wife puts a bullet in her head. You follow? Yeah. What if we can prove he shot her? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. We'll investigate. And then they take him more seriously as a suspect. Yeah, but, but, case, mean, but Romeo Clyde's okay. dead, so... Uh... So I... So what? We could still be enough to reopen a case. You just gotta find a precedent. Ask your evidence teacher. I really can't right now. I mean, I got a ton of work and. What's going on? No, Tell it's, me. It's nothing. I'm fine. I'm... Something going on with the boys? No, <laughs> look, I'm. I'm. I'll just forget it. I'll... Did they strip charge you? No. Bet it's me. Now you're gonna stop. I'm on probation at school. What do you mean? I'm the one in jail. What, what are we talking about? What does that mean? It just means that if I don't improve, I'm out. You're doing, you're doing so good. You're doing great. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I had um, late papers, and I flunked my torts exam. We can't do that to you. you you're the smartest person in the whole goddamn school. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna write a letter to those scumbag teachers. And I'm gonna make sure you call them scumbags in the letter. Fuck them. You should at least get extra credit for working on a real fucking case. I don't care about that. Look, no, don't worry about this, okay? I'm gonna take care of it. Okay. Okay, okay. Don't, 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 don't worry, honey. You're worth a thousand of them 
Wrap me shut up. No touching. Hi. Hi. Did you have a nice weekend? Yeah. Yeah? Get any homework done? A little. Yeah. What? Okay, what's going on? Hmm? Come on, talk what happened. We were thinking, you know, since you've been so busy and all, we were thinking that maybe we want to live with Dad. That son of a bitch. He put you up to this? No. Did he? No. We need a guy around. You know? The guy things. You feel the same way? Kinda. Call me, okay? Let me know how you do in your math test. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you. And you, you don't forget to set your alarm. If you're, if you're late for English I again, know, okay? I oh, know. Watch your head. Come here. Mm. Mm. Stop. Mm. Stop. Mm. I love you. I love, I love you so you much. I love you too, Mom. Okay. I'll see you Friday. We'll go to the movies. Bye. Bye. Fit. Just like my mother. You knock it off. That is not true. But I'll tell you what, if you keep missing classes, you will fail. But I've already failed. I lost my boys. Betty, you didn't lose them. I wasn't there for them. It wasn't. They can't help Kenny. Especially if you get kicked out of law school. That's your underwear. Your jeans. That's Queen. Come on, get dressed. I can't. I can't. Just come to school today. Start there. Life's swell here at the Hilton. Food's fucking fantastic, just like mine used to make. Can you send me more white socks? I love you and I miss you very much. I, Kenneth Waters, being of sound mind, leave all my worldly possessions to my sister Betty Ann Waters. Also, most important, I'm given a full authority on any decisions concerning my daughter, Mandy Marsh's well-being. So two of us will be defense attorneys, two will be the prosecutors. Thanks for dropping by, Waters. Nice ironing job. And then we need a defendant and a paralegal. 
I nominate Betty Ann to be the defendant. Oh, what's my alleged crime? Uh, rape. Oh, gee, thanks. What case did they assign us? You know that at the action cam class. Shut the fuck up. Sewell v. State, 1992. Sewell had already served 10 years in prison for rape, and then he sued the state for the right to DNA test a rape kit. DNA test? Yeah, the semen in the rape kit wasn't his. The DNA didn't match. And he won? Yes. Yeah, look, advances in technology may yield protection for exculpation where none previously existed. All right, so who wants to be paralegal? This is the key. What? There was so much blood. Look, I'm gonna get Kenny out. There were no DNA tests in. They only knew the murderer was type O, and so was Kenny. But now, if we can DNA test the murderer's blood and Kenny's, it'll prove Kenny's innocent. Just like in the rape case. Betty. I'm sorry, John. There are 49 other cases like this. Well, well wait. So how do you know the blood evidence still exists? Because we can find it. Hey, Barry Sheck is gonna help. Here, look. Oh, I see, Barry Sheck. This is what he does. Look, he's this innocence project in New York. And you're just gonna call him up and he's gonna take your case? Yes. Are we both gonna sleep with him or just you? Yeah, bro. You know what? <laughs> so look, Dear Mr. Sheck, I would greatly appreciate any assistance you and the innocence project can provide in helping me free my brother Kenny from a life without parole sentence. In 1983, Kenny was convicted in Massachusetts of first degree murder with extreme atrocity and armed robbery. I have done everything in my power for the last 16 years to prepare myself to prove my brother's innocence. You good? I can't find it. I can't find my ID. You checked your whole wall? Twice. You can't take the bar exam without ID. Ab Rice? Rice. Thank you. I'm sorry, I can't find my ID. Oh, look what I found in my... What? There! Bitch. Ah! This is funny. Oh, the water. She's she... 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 She's very old. She can't remember a single thing. Mr. Sheck, the day that my brother was unjustly convicted of this crime changed not only his life, but mine. Dear Miss Waters, I've enclosed an application for your brother Kenny to complete and return to our office. I must stress that we only accept cases where DNA evidence can exonerate the accused. It'll be vital for us to determine if any such evidence still exists. Without DNA evidence, it'll be impossible for us to proceed. The Innocence Project has a backlog of several hundred cases, so I must caution that it'll be at least 18 months before we can begin to evaluate your brother's case. If, however, you pass the bar exam and become your brother's attorney, you yourself can begin looking for the DNA evidence immediately. If you manage to find it, Mr. Sheck may agree to act as consulting attorney, in which case we can work together towards exonerating your brother. Ben's good, right? Didn't you say that? Don't open it. Are you sure? But don't look at it. Just, just hold it up for me to read. Don't look. I'm not. Thank you, God. So 
see what I say? Sure. Woo! Yeah! We did it! We did it! We did it. My baby sister! Muddy, would you please sit down? My baby sister did it! My baby sister! She passed the ball! I understand, but you have to sit down. Waters, have a seat. You have to take a seat now. Okay, I'm gonna take a seat. Mm. Woo! Yeah! What the hell wrong with you? Okay. I'm cool. I'm alright. Okay. Okay. So proud of you. Hi, I'm an attorney, and I'm calling regarding evidence from a 1983 case. Your name, please? Um, Abra Rice. If they realize I'm one of the Waters kids, God knows what they do to the evidence. You know, I, I just don't trust them. You could have used your married name. Yeah, but then when I want to be me, I won't be able to because I was someone else. I want to be me when I need to be me. So, to solve this problem, you decided to be me? Right, just this once. Nice. Yeah, I love those shoes. But from this point on, you need me to be me. Right. OK, so what did the air police tell me again? They don't have the evidence there anymore. It's at the courthouse where we had Kenny's trial. That's where I need you to call on Monday. On Monday, OK. I understand if you can't help. I mean, I don't want to do anything to jeopardize your new job. I mean, it's my cause, not yours. It's my cause, too. OK, this is going to be a little like Barbara Bush. A little. I don't deserve a friend like you. You're damn right you don't. That's right, Waters, 1983. Okay, well, isn't it possible that it's still in... Why are you saying that? You have an actual date when that would have happened? Well, I have an actual date. Okay, thank you. What did they say? What did they say? Abra. Betty, they destroyed it. What? According to Massachusetts law, they destroy evidence after 10 years, and Kenny's evidence was destroyed in April 1993. It's not possible. I did not come this far after all this time. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, it, it has to be there. No, it has, it has to be there. It's his only chance. Look, we're going to make them look for it. Honey, there's nothing to look for. We're going to make them look for it. We're going to make them look for it. No, I yeah, understand I know what you that, but I was say. hoping there was some chance the sample might have been left Yeah, well, when I spoke to last week, said you would look. Uh, Alice O'Malley. Okay, well, is Kathleen Higgins still working there? No, she, she testified at the said? original trial. Linda Clark. And she checked every single box in that basement. Can I speak to your supervisor, please? Cool. OK, well, well thanks for looking. Ms. Halloran? Hi, it's Deborah Rice again. I, I'm sure Ms. Clark searched thoroughly. Yeah, no, but if you yourself could look. What? No, I didn't realize you already. Oh, yeah. OK, thanks. Mother's not in the best mood. Something happened? Okay. Start eating. Yeah, What's wrong, Ma? Nothing. Come on, start eating your food. It's gonna get cold. That's your father's new girlfriend. What is she? 14, 15? You tell them. They have a right to know. What? What? It's just a setback. 
Betty. You don't really do Abra. Give up, is that what you're saying? It's gone. They looked? Can they look again? They did. Mistakes happen. Obviously, or Kenny wouldn't be in prison. Betty, they destroyed it. No. That evidence exists somewhere, and I'm gonna find it. Okay. Let's say you do find it. What if the DNA matches Kenny's? Get out. Get the hell out of my house right now! No. You gotta hear this. Even if you're the most amazing fighter, the most brilliant lawyer in the world, there are forces greater than you, and you may not win. Do you think you haven't thought of that? No. You haven't. Let's just go. Just a step back. Eat your food. Come on. Can I help you? Yeah, um, I'm an attorney, Abra Rice, and I'm trying to locate evidence from the Kenneth Waters trial. Oh, yeah, we spoke on the phone. Did you check with the courthouse? Yeah, and, and they can't locate it. Yeah, well, like I said, they probably destroyed it by now. I mean, it's been like, what, Betty Ann Waters? You know what, I'm sorry, I don't... Lieutenant Daniels, I, I know your brother Kenny. I was uh, the rookie here when... Uh... You're his sister? But I am an attorney, and he is my client. Holy shit. <laughs> my sister won't even send me a birthday card. I was just telling Miss Waters that we don't have any evidence here. Here from back then? That's a lot of years. Would you mind looking? You really his lawyer, huh? Yeah. That's it for the old evidence. And there's nowhere else? That's it, just supplies. Working hard for your brother. I wish I had better news for you. How's Kenny holding up? Not so great. I remember that case. Funny guy, that Kenny. I gotta tell you, even with what he did... He didn't do it. I like Kenny. We all liked him. Nancy Taylor didn't. Yeah, well, Nancy Taylor doesn't work here anymore. Why not? She got herself into a little hot water. Grand Police Department. Chief O'Connell's office. Now, he's not available right now, sir. I gave him your message. I understand. Let him know. Why aren't you a cop anymore? I left the force when I got married. Really? You mean it had nothing to do with you framing another cop? I beg your pardon? The girl calling her name. Oh, yeah, Stanley Randall. He found out that you were dirty, so you got a waitress from the rusty scupper to accuse him of rape. <sighs> Is that what they told you over there? I'm sure you can imagine what it was like to be the only woman on that police force. Hmm? I wasn't dirty. And the rape charge wasn't false. 
truth is. They never got over me solving the Brown murder. Oh, you didn't solve it. You put an innocent man in prison. I am sorry you have wasted your life on this. Your brother killed that woman. sleeping? She usually is at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Come on in, I'll get her up. Thanks. Baby sweetheart, guess who? I wish we could use this. I mean, she framed a cop for Christ's sake. It still doesn't prove that she framed Kenny. I mean, it wouldn't be enough. Thank you. No, it's not enough for a new trial. God, I hate the damn legal system. It's so fucking inconvenient. Sorry I kicked you out of my house. It's okay. The mac and cheese sucks. You were wearing that outfit when you said you were me. Yeah, too bad being you didn't get me anywhere. Uh, you know, there is one thing we haven't tried yet. How long will it take you to make yourself look like a lawyer? I'm attorney Amber Rice. I'm just my associate. Uh, I'd like to talk to Mrs. Halloran. Do you have an appointment? Oh, it's a pressing legal matter. Mrs. Halloran's aware of it. I'm Mrs. Halloran. Oh, hello. I'm Amber Rice. We spoke earlier. Yes, but as I told you on the phone. I'm Betty Ann Waters, and the evidence in question is from my brother's trial. Oh, well, we can't just have family members. Well, I, I'm, I'm also his attorney, and I became an attorney just to help him. I understand that you looked, but if you could... Please just look one more time. If we did this for every person who came in here, we don't have the staff. Look, I don't know what else to do with Beg. I'm, I'm, I'm asking for a favor, a favor from a complete stranger, but please. You're talking about evidence that's 16 years old. Our record shows it was destroyed. Is it possible that the record could be wrong? It's highly unlikely but possible. Are those your grandkids? Yes. Beautiful. They look like you. Please. My brother's innocent. And you're right, it's been 16 years. And our family really wants him home. Why don't we come back here? to touch
Gott ihn wie. Weckt uns bald. Number 29. Weckt ihn. Exhibit 68, A through F. Perpetrator. Oh, good job, Kessler. <laughs> <laughs> I need to file a motion to preserve the evidence. Well, that office is closed now, but I'll file it for you in the morning. I'll get you the paperwork. Are you gonna, you're just gonna leave the box out on the table? Oh, it'll be fine. My brother's life is in there. Oh, he's... I, could I just put a sign on it with my name? Well, that really isn't necessary. If anything happens to this... All right. I borrow some tape? Oh, it's right under there. Okay. Here you go. <sighs> All right. Mr. Spot. This is Barry Sheck. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Fuck, fine. Great. Congratulations on finding the evidence. It's extraordinary. Thank you. But I, I really didn't do anything. You mean besides becoming a lawyer? No, I mean, you know, we were just lucky that the box was still there. I hear you beat up an old lady to find it. <laughs> no, but that was going to be my next step. Kenny thinks he's getting out tomorrow. Uh, I wish. DAs don't like to admit they put an innocent person in prison, and this DA, Martha Coakley, has just gotten elected, so she's really not gonna like it. Well, how long do you think it's gonna take? We're gonna have some hoops to go through. It might be a couple of months. A couple of months? It may be less, but the important thing is, if your brother is innocent... He is. Then this is a travesty of justice, and we will get him out. Thank you, Barry. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. in segregation. That's the rules. Thanks, Dad. What were you thinking? Why wouldn't you just take the test? What a year, Betty. Fucking year. I don't trust that. I'm not doing it. What? I'm not doing it. Jesus Christ, Kenny. You didn't, you didn't mind? This is it. This is what we were waiting for. You're not gonna take the fucking test. Why now, all of a sudden, out of the blue? Why, why, why can't you be in the room when they test They won't allow that. They're, they're not gonna agree to that. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to trust a bunch of stadies to do it? This isn't a choice. You have to do this. It's gonna test positive. I find a way they're gonna
I'm leaving. You do it, or I'll kill you. That your sister and your lawyer talking. What the hell is going on over there? Why don't we have the test results yet? The evidence is still sitting in the crime lab. It's sitting there? It takes six months to approve the testing, five to decide how to test it, and now they're doing nothing? That's what you're telling me? Martha Coakley is definitely stonewalling us. Are we having a famine? We have teenagers, remember? Look, do we even know if Kenny's DNA ever made it to the lab? Or if the crime samples are still there? No, it's there. Have you seen them? Why aren't you doing anything about this? We called the DA's office. Every day, and the crime lab, the interns have sent like 8,000 emails. Interns? Jesus, Barry, this is beyond interns. It's just gonna take some more time. Great, you and your interns take your time while Kenny rots in jail. Fuck, okay. You shouldn't take it out on Barry. You're right. Are you Dr. McGilvray? Yes, I am. Betty Ann Waters. I need the evidence from my brother's trial sent today. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry, I don't know the who The DNA you... evidence from Kenneth Waters' trial. Why is it just sitting here? We have procedures to follow. No, I'll it tell you the procedures. Take... Test the goddamn evidence today and FedEx the result to Ed Blake's lab in California. Why don't you How leave your that? name and number with Lois here and someone will so be what in is it? touch with you. Martha Coakley's telling excuse you not to me, do it. I have a meeting that I'm late for. What, well, is it some promotion you'll get if you kiss her butt? You can't keep fucking with my brother's life like this! You have my name and number. I called many times. Mom, let's go. We're going to miss the kickoff. I'll be right down. I forgot my phone. When's the last time you used it? I don't remember. Call it. Maybe it'll ring. You check my desk. Okay. From? The couch. Holy shit. What? He's innocent. What? Uncle Kenny's innocent. It wasn't his DNA. Kenneth Waters is eliminated as the source of the male blood. Oh my god. <gasps> <laughs> it's all you. Fucking did it. When am I getting out? A few days. A few days. <laughs> I can't wait a few days. Well, there's paperwork, Kenny. You can't just walk out of here. Why not? They know I'm innocent. Hey! <laughs> you hear that, motherfuckers? Waters. I'm innocent! Waters. Take it a DNA test! Waters. I'm very happy for you, but take your seat, okay? My baby sister's a fucking genius. Oh, You're so great. It's getting me out of here. Sit down, finish your business. <laughs> So what, when, when, what, what do you think? Monday, Tuesday? Um, no, I have to, I have to hear back from Barry as soon as he reaches Martha Coakley and she vacates the conviction. Miss <laughs> no, Martha fucking Coakley, I want a shiny new limousine picking me up <laughs> with a fully stuck bar. <laughs> you gotta call Mandy for me. You gotta, you gotta call her and tell her they know I'm innocent. I will. As soon as I get out of here, I will. Tell them I'm getting out. Tell her I miss her, and I want to see her, right? Will you tell her that? I will. Love you, Kenny. Love you. Love you. 
me, Andy. Uh, this is your aunt, Betty Ann. Uh, you probably don't remember me, but um, I really need to talk to you about your dad. It's uh, very important. Um, it's nothing bad. Uh, I mean, it's great. Uh, we, we finally found the evidence that proved he's innocent, so um, he wanted me to call you and let you know, so he called You have zero messages. Hey, you guys hungry? Let me throw you a sandwich up. I've got ham and tuna. Mom, you throw a sandwich up here. The roof will cave in. Very funny. I I'll remember that when you want to bring a girl up here. At least Uncle Kenny will think it's nice. Compared to jail. Barry? Hi. Oh, thank God. I'm going crazy here. And Kenny's going absolutely insane. I know. I'm sorry. Did you reach Martha Coakley? Yes. Oh, what'd she say? How long is it going to take? There's a problem. Still enough evidence to try you as an accomplice. So I'm not getting out. Not now. But... I'm sorry, Kenny. It's not fair, you know? It's not fair. <laughs> we gotta go. I'm gonna kill that fucking bitch. I'm gonna kill it. Waters, sit down. Okay. Can you, can you listen to me? We can't give up. We, 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 no, we no, have no. Barry on our side now, and we will fight her in court. Hey, you tell Barry, forget it, okay? We're way past that, little sis. Take care of your boys. You got to move on. It's over. It's not over. It's over, honey. It's not over. It's over, it's honey. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Noise. Motherfucker. What? Motherfucker. <laughs> Sit down, or you out of here. Hey, man, haven't you heard? I'm never getting out of here. Never. I'm man. here forever, You're man. Hand down. Hey, get out of my face, shithead. Sit down. I tell you, you got it's over. I you said understand? sit down. I'm talking to my sister. Move this it's over. Kenny, 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 go! It's so nice to you, Kenny! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Kenny! 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 Kenny's in solitary, for Christ's sakes. Why is everyone congratulating me? You proved he's innocent. Yeah, well, not to Martha Coakley, I didn't. We'll fight her. We are not going back to court. Kenny will not survive another trial, and I'll be damned if we have to prove his innocence all over again just because of that evil bitch. There won't be a trial if we gather new evidence. How are we going to do that? Think about it. The DNA doesn't just prove that Kenny's innocent. It proves all those witnesses were lying. Well, you see, see, what happened was I was threatened, okay? Who threatened you? Don't I know you from TV? 
Oh, yeah, I know. You're that famous Jew lawyer. Susanna, who threatened you? You know that fucking cop, Nancy Taylor, had it out for Kenny? She kidnaps me, right? Her and the chief of police. And, uh, they take me to this room, this hotel, against my will. That ain't legal. And, uh, they get me drunk. You know, what am I gonna argue? And the chief of police, he's wanting me to pray with him. You know, so I get down, I pray. It's for forgiveness, forgiveness. Forgiveness for what? Because they fucking lied. Saying they had all this evidence they didn't have, telling me I, I'm going to be an accessory and threatening to take my daughters away. I was absolutely, totally sick. I mean, I puked. <laughs> you should have seen it. i never seen pictures like that before in my life. Oh, my God, this is the part. Pictures of Mrs. Brow? Yeah, the pictures, you know, the fucking pictures. You know, you see them. She has stab wounds all over her body and her brains are coming out and everything. And I just went, you know, I went hysterical. I was hysterical. And I, I broke down and I, you know, they're talking at me, it's like, you want this to happen to you? You know, you, you want a fucking murderer walking out on the street? It could happen to anybody. Your mother, your kids, you, you, meaning me. So Nancy Taylor said that Kenny could murder you or your mother or your girls? Yes, yeah, she fucking did, that's exactly right. Excuse my French. I mean, there was a lot of thing that, that wasn't quite right in Denmark, you know, and I, I was trying to put it together. I just, I mean, I was telling him, I was like, I was fucking plastered at the time. I don't remember what, what Kenny said. And you'll sign this affidavit once we're done? <laughs> I can't live like this any longer, Betty Ann. I'm sorry. I know how you put your brother in there. I know I did. I did. I'm sorry. Uh, but I was up against the wall, you know. I was railroad. I told them, Kenny is innocent, you know. Nancy Taylor, she fucking, she says, once I get my lead, I never let it go. So I, I, I just need to know, you, you'll sign this affidavit then? Yeah. So um, after we leave here, we'll just, you can come with us, we'll just quickly get it notarized. Oh, what about perjury then? What about perjury? Yeah, if I sign this, then, um... Everybody's going to know I lied before. What's the statute of limitations? I don't even know she could say so many syllables. I can knock out the rest of her teeth. Tasty woman was not one of your brother's strong points. From your Aunt Betty Ann. Your father's sister. What do you want? Oh, did you get my messages? I... I gotta go. Wait, I, I really need to talk to your mother. She's not home. Please, your father's innocent. My father's a murderer. No, the DNA test proved he's not. Wait, did, you, did she give you his letters? He wrote to you every week. He's innocent. My, the pancake's almost ready. Hey, guys! Anybody up for a drive? Any pancakes left back there? Oh, you wanted some? Richard! Hey! 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 H
sure. Hey, come on, come on. I'm in the crash. Here. One pin. So you, you guys gonna tell your father this is how I made you spend Christmas? Your secret's safe with us. I mean, besides, we're willing accomplices. You guys would do this for each other, right? If Ben tried to go to law school for me, I'd die an old man in prison. Don't worry about it, I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't? I mean, I want to help and all, but I don't think I could give up what I really wanted to do. Which is what? Sleep till noon and hang out at the mall? Shut up, what, you do it for me? Yeah, I would. You'd sacrifice your whole life for me. When you put it like that, forget it. Think I sacrificed my whole life? <laughs> it's okay, come on. Hey, give me the gift. Come on, let's go. Christmas. Randy, these are, these are your cousins. Okay. I'm sorry, this, uh, this isn't a good time right now. It's, oh, I'm sorry, Merry Christmas. I'll be here. Oh, I'll be here. The boy's got you on video. God knows how long it'll take to improve it. Do you, do you remember the year that we left you in Spain? I'm working. Please. I have this memory where I'm sitting on the kitchen floor and I'm like three or four years old and my mom and I are talking about daddy's shirt being covered with blood. I couldn't figure it out, you know, I just didn't understand why Daddy's shirt was covered in blood. It wasn't. She lied? The DNA proved she did. Why would she lie like that? I don't know, honey. That, that's what we need to ask her. You really write me every week? After 18 years. Even when you're just a baby. Did he get in that jail? They're not gonna let him out without new evidence. Why not? Because people don't like to admit when they've made a mistake. We need a statement from your mother. I can't control what she does. Yeah, I know. I have a good Kenny. You know, if Massachusetts had the death penalty, your father would be dead by now.
made that for you. He's had that on the wall of his cell this whole time. After me and Kenny split up, I had this boyfriend, Robert. And he says that we could get money from the cops if we rat on Kenny. So he goes to Nancy Taylor. Says that I told him that Kenny confessed to Mrs. Brow's murder. Nancy Taylor tells Robert he can fuck himself. And she hauls me in, brings me to this hotel, makes me look at all these gross pictures. And she says that, uh, that they can prove I was an accessory, and that they'll take Mandy over. Do you guys have a printer I can use? Can you guarantee I won't go to jail if I sign this? No, I can't. Sign it, Ma. Martha Coakley, please. Uh, no, I, I have Barry Sheck calling, and uh, it, it's urgent. Miss Coakley? Betty and Waters. Um, look, Barry's tied up right now, but he wanted me to let you know that Brenda Marsh, a key witness in the Kenneth Waters case, has just recanted her original testimony. And uh, we just faxed the affidavit, and so you should be getting it shortly. Oh, hang on. Here, here's Barry now. Martha! Yeah, that's something about Brenda Marsh, isn't it? Oh, really? Uh, listen, um, I just wanted to give you a heads up while you're deciding whether or not to vacate Kenny's conviction. The folks over at the, uh, at the Boston Globe and the New York Times, they just love this story. Uh, no, I mean, they're all over it. Yeah, the phone's been ringing, yeah. Great, all right. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> sides in agreement to vacate the conviction? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Kenneth Waters, you're free to go.
great team he is, man. They're, they're, uh, they're gone <laughs> right now. And how could I, you possibly um, thank your sister for what she's done for you? I don't know. How would you thank her? It's a good question. Do right? yes, you have any big cases lined up after this? No, no, no. I never really planned on practicing law, so... Talk to her. Just two seconds, guys. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I can't just... My whole life, I thought... Not your whole life. What my mother did to you... I'm so sorry. I'm so that's, sorry. That's not your fault. That's not your fault, honey. Betty Ann and Kenny. Take Kenny and Betty Ann. Hmm. Even if it had taken you another 20 years, you know, I would have been okay. Another 20 years? <laughs> Jesus. I would have lost my mind. <laughs> no, I mean, you know. Knowing you're out here, working so hard for me. Knowing that you love me that much.
goes on inside your head Walking slowly towards the night There's nothing wrong with me, you said They kept me spellbound by